And just a heads up, the following section is math heavy, but I'll walk you through it step by step and trust me it's more straightforward than it appears. We start with our KL divergence formula, which is the expectation under Q of log Q of Z divided by P of Z given X. And here's the key move. We use Bayes' rule to substitute P of Z given X with P of X and Z divided by P of X. When we make this substitution, we get the expectation under Q of log Q of Z times P of X divided by P of X and Z. Now, we apply the logarithm property that log of A times B over C equals log A plus log B minus log C which gives us the expectation of log Q of Z plus log P of X minus log P of X and Z. Using the linearity of expectation, we can separate this into three expectations, and here's a crucial observation. Since P of X doesn't depend on Z, its expectation under Q is just log P of X itself. After rearranging these terms, we get this beautiful result. Log P of X equals the KL divergence, plus this new quantity we call the elbow, which equals the expectation under Q of log P of X and Z, minus the expectation under Q of log Q of Z. So the evidence represented by P of X is equal to the KL divergence plus the elbow. 